Hi, my name is Thomas Kim and in my previous two videos I installed Sigwin and I also installed Bison and Plex and I found that I need to make one more changes to system environment settings. I start the Sigwin terminal and then I check the Bison version again like this. It gives me the, the Bison version that I installed is 3.0.2 and I want to make a command line from Visual Studio, Visual Studio. Let me see. I copy develop command prompt to my desktop. Then I start it. Then I would check. As you can see, it the Bison the Bison software uh, that is accessed from Visual, Stu Visual Studio command line is 2.7.1. So there is discrepancy. In Sigwin, it gives me 3.0.2, and from the Visual Studio command line, it gives me 2.7.1. So I have to change some settings to to develop a command prompt for Visual Studio 2013. To do that, uh, I have to figure it out why why the versions are different. So I start Sigwin installation folder. Then from here, I would search for Bison. For a few minutes later. Okay, I found one, there are two, three instances. One is coming from this folder, Sigwin 64BIN folder, and another one comes from Sigwin 64 user local BIN. So I will, I have to add, uh, I have to add this folder to, to the pass. To do that, I would do open file location, then copy the pass and I have to add it to system environment variable okay pass edit I would copy I would copy your pass here then let's show I will show my pass Okay, my the last th this path, this this portion of path should come before this portion, this portion of the path. So it it is important. I will save it. Oh, I don't need to save it anyway. After this, after these modifications, okay, then click OK again, okay. Then I will close it and then start it again. Okay, now it gives me 3.0.2 Python version. And I will, I will also make another changes to make to make my starting pa starting folder pass since. This is my project folder. I will have it right click property and code copy paste code apply okay then let's try it. Okay, it starts to the proper folder proper folder and I double check the person. Okay, it is giving me 3.0.2. And we will we will use I will download manuals PDF manual for 
Python. Let this PDF version of manual PDF manual for the Python 3.0.2. To do that, I do. Then manual. Then right save link as I I've already I I've already downloaded this document, this PDF files, and you have to download PDF file, PDF files and PDF manuals the the way I do. You can save it. Seems download is complete. This way you can open, you can use the PDF document for Python. Okay. I will use this PDF, PDF code, code in the PDF to to build my first, my first Python pass syntax parser. Okay, I will make it small. Then close. Then I start Visual Studio, and I open my previous, my previous project. Sorry. I opened my previous project. Now I, I add one more project, one new project. Open Solution Explorer, Explorer. right click the solution, then add new project. And select console application, and it will be Hello Python. Again, I will use empty project. And uh, I will right click the Hello Python project and select set as startup project. Then it becomes startup project. Add a filter. It will be Python plex files. And I add one one item. It should be parser y. And I have created one pile. And I will create. Uh, okay. I will copy and paste the code from PDF manual. I will make it smaller. Okay. I will make it pretty. In put in my next video, in my subsequent videos, I will explain the meanings of these code. But uh, for the time being, we can test whether we can compile and build the Python parts properly. Then the grammar rules section, I copy and paste it. Let's see. Not I have to change this into code proper code single code. Curly code is not acceptable in Python grammar in Python source code.
I save it and I have to copy one more part at details explanations okay and I will I will add another filter another file source code right click and a new item main cpp then here I will copy it and uh, I need to include C Studio and also CSTD standard library I can also change it to more like C++ stars like this okay then I also have to fix it I will add a main function here okay then one thing more I will save it and uh, in pacify I will add one more copies I have to copy it to I would copy it here okay then we have to make some cha some changes to the settings right click this person properties and select custom custom build tool click apply then in command line Python file name let me see cpp and uh, identity then here file name CPP. That's it. Let me see. Let's double check. We sometimes need to. I I need to make one more changes here. Is about the meaning of this I will explain in my later videos For the time being just keep it keep this just follow with me and uh, I have to make more changes here and semicolon file name then HPP okay save it click OK then let's try to compile it. I have syntax error and inspect it. Okay, I will show line numbers. Text editor, all languages, line number. Then at line three, defines. Defines. Oh, I have to change it this way compile again okay Python file is compiled properly then I have to add 
the pile generated uh, right at existing item then pass a CPP then I have to also make changes here in its property not to use not to use pre precompiled header to this server precompiled header okay then also main main it does not need to use precompiled header and I also have to include a uh, parser HPP and let's compile it okay I have some warnings I will dis disable the warnings Okay, everything seems to be everything seems to be working properly. I will be rebuild the solution, the project. Okay, let's test it. Okay. syntax error. Okay, everything seems to be fine. In this video, I demonstrated how to build, how to compile and build a bison, bison piles and about the, 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 the exact the detailed explanation about the bison code, I will explain these all the technical details in my later videos. Thank you for watching.